Hello, welcome to Master Matic. Hi, student. This video is for Chapter One Indices Part Two. Before we proceed, you can refer to video Chapter One Part One to learn about the fundamental of indices. Let's continue. Stating a to the power of negative n as one over a to the power of n. And vice versa. For example, four to the power of negative one can be stating as one over four to the power of one. And if you want to find the value of four to the power of negative one, then it is equal to one over four, since four to the power of one is equal to four. Let's see another example. Four to the power of negative two can be stating as one over. Four to the power of two. The value of four to the power of negative two is equal to one over sixteen because in the previous chapter we learned four to the power of two is equal to four times four, which is sixteen. And the last example, four to the power of negative three can be stating as one over four to the power of three. To find the value of four to the power of negative three, four to the power of three equal to four times four times four, which is equal to sixty-four. Then four to the power of negative three is equal to one over sixty-four. See this example: four to the power of three divided by four to the power of six equal to four to the power of three minus six, which result into a negative indices. Four to the power of negative three. To find the value of four to the power of negative three, four to the power of negative three. Can be stating as one over four to the power of three. Four to the power of three equal to four times four times four, which is equal to sixty-four. Then four to the power of negative three is equal to one over sixty-four. Next, we will learn about stating a to the power of one over n as n root of A and vice versa. For example, four to the power of one over two is equal to square root of four, and square root of four is equal to two because two times two equal to four. The next example, eight to the power of one over three is equal to cube root of eight, where cube root of eight is equal to two because two times two times two is equal to eight. And the last example. Sixteen to the power of one over four is equal to fourth to the root of sixteen, and fourth to the root of sixteen is equal to two, because two times two times two times two is equal to sixteen. The last part of this chapter is stating a to the power of m over n as n to the root of a to the power of m. For example, four to the power of one over two can be stating as square root of four to the power of one, where square root of four is equal to two. Then two to the power of one is also equal to two. Next example, four to the power of two over two can be stating as square root of four to the power of two, where square root of four is equal to two. Then two to the power of two is equal to four. And the last example, four to the power of three over two is equal to square root of four to the power of three, where square root of four is equal to two. Then two to the power of three is equal to eight. Now it's the end of this video, and you may pause the video and try this question. The answers are provided at the end of this video.